dear audience, today we will be presenting a story, Jack and the Beanstalk. I am Vanessa, the narrator, and allow me to introduce the characters in the story. Hi everyone, my name is Kairul and I will be your Jack today. Hello everyone, my name is Shazri and I will be playing as Jack's mother and also the fairy. Hi, I am Hakim and I'll be playing the role Zayan and the Strange Man. Hello everyone, my name is Adya and I will be Zayan's wife. Hello everyone, my name is Simi. I will be an animator in the story. Dear audience, we will be begin in seconds. Enjoy! Once upon a time, there was one of her widow who lived with her son, Jack. Jack was a good-natured but lazy boy. When at last there was no money left to buy food, Jack's mother told him to take the dairy cow to the market and sell her at a good price. However, on his way to the market, Jack met a strange man who asked him where he was going with the cow. I'm going to the market to sell her. Then, the strange man offered him for an exchange. I will give you these magic beans in exchange for your cow. Magic, you say? Hmm, I don't know. These magic beans are one in a million. You will never come across something like this again. Jack, being the gullible boy that he was, believed in every word the man had said. So, he agreed to trade the cow for the five beans. Alright, I will trade my cow for your magic beans. Thank you. You will never regret it. Then, Jack hurried home to show what he'd got for the exchange to his mom. Mom! Mom! Look at the five magic beans I got for the cow. You foolish, lazy boy. Now, we will go hungry. She threw all the beans out the window. Then, she and Jack went to bed without supper. The next morning, Jack woke up early and noticed an odd shadow across his window. He quickly ran outside to see that a huge beanstalk had sprung up during the night. It grew so high that he could not see the top. Wow! The strange man wasn't lying. That is one big no, huge no, giant beanstalk. Hmm, I wonder what's up there. Out of curiosity, he decided to climb up the beanstalk. He climbed for hours. Finally, when he reached the top, he saw a great castle in the clouds. Is this real? Am I dreaming? Ouch! I can't believe my eyes, but my legs hurt. I can't be dreaming. The magnificent castle looked as if it were a vision from a dream. Jack knew from his tired arms and legs that he had not just dreamed up his long climb. As he got closer to the castle, Jack met a beautiful fairy. Wow! Now, 
I really must be dreaming. You're not young, Jack. I am as sure as you are. The fairy took a step closer. I have something to tell you. Long ago, the giant who lives in this castle had killed your father and stole all his gold. As his son, you have the right to take back what was rightfully yours. It was impossible not to believe the fairy. After all, he did just climb up a magic beanstalk and is now standing in a castle perched upon magical clouds. He thanked the fairy and continued his journey. When he reached the steps, he asked the giant's huge wife for some supper. Mrs. Giant, mm, I am terribly hungry. May I have some food for supper? If you stay here, the giant will help you for supper. Because she was so hungry, Jack was not bothered by her words. The woman gave in and fixed Jack a good supper. Soon, they heard the thump of heavy footsteps. <coughs> Just as the giant entered the room, his wife hit Jack in the oven. Oh no! My husband is coming to have his supper. Quick! Hide yourself in the oven! Quickly, he hides himself in the oven as ordered by the giant's wife. The giant sniffed the air and roared. I can smell the blood on an Englishman. The giant's wife tried to cover up for Jack. It's just your supper, dear. Nothing else. The giant ate his huge supper in one huge swallow. Then he roared. Oh. Catch me! My gold coins. Okay, dear, I'm coming. The woman brought in bags of gold coins that had belonged to Jack's father. Unfortunately, the giant fell asleep counting the money. Jack took a bag of gold and threw it down to his mother's garden and climbed down as fast as he could. Jack's mother was overjoyed when the gold coins rained down. They could now take care of their needs. However, money does not last forever and soon enough they ran out of gold. What do you think will happen next? Do you think Jack will climb up the beanstalk again? How about the giant? He must be very angry at Jack when he found out. Now, we have come to the end of the story. We hope you enjoyed the story, Jack at the Beanstalk. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hey.